Hi, I'm Tom Berger, Executive Director of the Veterans Health Council for Vietnam Veterans of America. On May 29th, former VA Secretary Anthony Tony Principi's letter entitled How to Fix the Veterans Affairs Mess appeared on the op-ed page of the Wall Street Journal. In his letter, the former secretary addresses a number of issues, including the wait time scandal, previous VA budgets, health care vouchers, along with his view that the health care of Vietnam veterans, quote, undermines public confidence in the system and derails funding and treatment for those who need more urgent medical care. Almost immediately, VVA National President John Rowan fired off a rebuttal to the Secretary's letter in which he directly challenged two of Principi's statements. For example, the actual appropriation for VHA medical care for FY2001 was approximately $20 billion. For FY2004, it was more than $25 billion. If the VHA had been properly funded on a formula that was based on capitation and took into account medical inflation, the VHA appropriation for FY2004 should have been, or would have been, approximately $36 billion. This was in the period after the flatline years of FY 1996 to FY 2000 that VA caused the VHA to lose 10,000 clinicians in organizational capacity. The VHA has never fully recovered from the flatline years. While we do not want to say that the budget figures used by Secretary Principi are misleading, the fact remains that the figures he quotes are not accurate figures for the health care at VHA. Furthermore, Mr. Principi is simply wrong when he states, quote, the VA makes payments to veterans more than 40 years after their military service for such ailments as heart disease and prostate cancer where there is no medical evidence of service-related exposure, end of quote. No evidence, Mr. Principi? In November 1996, then-Secretary of the VA, Jesse Brown, issued the final rule recognizing prostate cancer as a service-connected presumptive disease associated with exposure to Agent Orange and other phenoxy herbicides during their military service. Therefore, such exposed veterans became eligible for VA disability compensation. In 2008, University of California Davis Cancer Center physician released results of research showing that Vietnam veterans exposed to Agent Orange have greatly increased risks of prostate cancer and even greater risks of getting the most aggressive form of the disease as compared to those who were not exposed. The research was also the first to utilize a large population of men in their 60s and the prostate-specific antigen PSA test to screen for the disease. More than 13,000 Vietnam veterans enrolled in the VA Northern California healthcare system were stratified into two groups, exposed or not exposed to Agent Orange between 1962 and 1971. Based on medical evaluations conducted between 1998 and 2006, the study revealed that twice as many Agent Orange exposed men were identified with prostate cancer than not exposed. Agent Orange exposed men were diagnosed two and a half years younger than non-exposed, and Agent Orange exposed men were nearly four times more likely to present with metastatic disease than non-exposed. Other prostate cancer risk factors, including race, body mass index, and smoking, were not statistically different between the two groups. Further buttressing this link, in April 2009, a study of 1,495 veterans in five cities who underwent radical prostatectomies to remove their cancerous prostates showed that 206 exposed to Agent Orange had nearly a 50% increased risk of their cancer recurring, despite the fact that their cancer seemed relatively non-aggressive at the time of their surgery and their cancer came back with a vengeance. The time it took the prostate-specific antigen, or PSA level, to double, which is an indicator of aggressiveness, was eight months versus more than 18 months in non-exposed veterans. Thus, veterans exposed to Agent Orange are at least twice as likely 
to develop prostate cancer, their recurrence rates are higher, and recurring cancers are more aggressive. One statement of Mr. Principi's that we have no argument with is, quote, the Obama administration and Congress have a moral obligation to review and overhaul all laws and regulations to ensure that the determination of veterans' benefits and all other VA decisions are beyond reproach and based on the best facts available. Thank you very much.